Hello beautiful people, thanks for coming again to Apostate in Tips Kitchen. Today's video is about Cameroonian coconut rice, like you already saw it from the title. And it's very simple, it's easy, I like it because it's a one pot meal. You don't stress much while making it. So for this coconut rice recipe, we need grind ginger and garlic. You guys know I always have my things already grind. <laughs> grind ginger and garlic. We need some seasoning. This is crayfish seasoning from Cameroon, and we have no cubes seasoning as well. So we have one red onion that has already been chopped into medium sizes. Two habanero red pepper. It's very optional. We have a carrot and green beans. Everything practically already prepared. We have our meat about 500 grams of beef. We have parboiled rice. Yes, you can see. Just freshly parboiled. I usually parboil my rice and I use the quantity I want to use and the leftover I dry them. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna make a video about that. So, and we have our almighty coconut. Yeah, almighty coconut. Actually, I bought two. You know coconut, you won't know which one is fresh, which one is bad, which one, yay. So I bought two, in case this one should disappoint us. We have one to come for our rescue. So guys, this is practically what we need. We need no oil, nothing apart from this, nothing else. And you're gonna see how we make this beautiful coconut rice. If you're here, you've not yet subscribed, please do well to subscribe. Grab your seeds and let's cook this together. So guys, we're going to move directly to the breaking of a coconut, okay? I don't have a hammer. <laughs> it's funny, yes, but I don't have a hammer. So I'm going to use this, my nutcracker. You can see. My nutcracker. Yes, a coconut. We need a bowl. And of course, we need a glass to dig in our juice. Yes. So actually, there are three holes, as we all know. There are three holes, three heads, and there's one that is always soft. And if you can see, is this one that is soft? You can see it's already opening on its own. Is this one that is soft? So what I do is I usually perforate this one that is soft and I, extra, I bring out the juice. So that's what we're going to do immediately. We're going to start by You can see how it's easy because that's a softer part okay wow it really has meat inside you can see it's really wow I guess we won't have any use for the second oh I need to burn this further Okay, I'm look for it. Yep. So, this is what I was actually telling you. I don't know if you can see the hole, right? You can really see the hole. So, it's very easy for your juice to come out. So, we're gonna turn it. I guess you can see. Yes. Good. I can't wait to have. A sip of this juice <sighs> you can imagine I'm gonna keep it here and while I cook I'm going to <laughs> keep on drinking so yeah so you can see it's very easy the juice is out such that it will reduce the mess you're gonna produce if you had broken into the, co the coconut with the juice still inside so you look for the soft head and you actually perforate it to create this hole into breaking a coconut oh god it's gonna make a loud noise yeah that I know oh you can see I guess I'm really strong right oh god yep you can see we're going to remove the flesh yeah so it's fresh it's fresh that I'm happy 
it's fresh you know you know when it's not fresh when you actually press there's it goes like goes in a little but it's really fresh so we're going to remove our coconut it's left to you at this point you can still hit it right like you hit with a hammer or still continue with my nutcracker like I'm doing right now like I did actually yes or you keep on going little by little to extract the little yes oh my god this one's kind of beast okay we're going to go immediately into washing our coconuts but before that let's clear this mess so See, always make sure your working space is clean because you never know <laughs> yes yeah, because you never know so going straight to washing a coconut so guys after washing a coconut we're gonna cut it into smaller sizes okay why because we're going to blend in Cameroon what we actually do is we don't cut it in these sizes we grate them and now I presently want to use a shortcut reasons I'm like cutting it into smaller sizes in Cameroon we just grate them guys after cutting it into pieces we are gonna blend I'm going to blend this in two batches yes considering the fact my blender is not very big I'm gonna blend in two batches add some water and you blend Okay, guys so this is the first batch you can see it's not that smooth okay but we're gonna drain it yes like to so bring out just the milk you can see the coconut milk in there I'm gonna do it again I'm not gonna fall this time around I'm going to do it again I'm gonna add some more water and blend again for the second time okay this time it's okay yes so I'm gonna do the same with the second batch so guys after doing the second batch I actually strain out the water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to struggle to use this my small fine sieve to remove any little particles from the coconut milk I guess it's doing a great job after all yes it's doing a great job so I really never had to simplify it that much guys can you see my little strainer <laughs> oh my god I really need need to buy a bigger one <laughs> okay so here is our coconut milk we're gonna put it at the side I think we have enough so you can see our coconut chaps is still here yes this is 
recyclable. Why? I can recycle it. Yes. I can do coconut cookies with it. You can see. Yes. In case my water is small, I can. It still has milk, so I can add some water and blend again to make more milk. I can actually add some sugar and dry it in the oven for a little and it will be something like a snack so actually I can also make coconut balls yeah so it's recyclable I'm not gonna throw this away I'm just gonna keep it while we cook air coconut rice so we want to go directly in into a coconut rice procedure we turn on a stove we we'll bring in our pot and we pour our coconut milk into the pot. Yes. Into the pot. We'll add some salt. And leave it to come to the boil. So guys, you can see, oh my god, the purple. It has come to a boil, okay. You can see so it's foaming. It's very normal when you actually boil coconut milk. So we are going to add our meat. Washed and rinsed already. We're going to add our meat. We're going to add our seasoning. A little bit of salt, just a little, and we're going to allow it to actually boil. And when it starts boiling, we're going to add the other spices. Okay. So our meat started boiling. We're going to add our sliced onions. I'm going to add the pepper, the habanero pepper, without slicing or grinding. Why? Because I don't want it to be much on the food because I'm not the only one that's going to eat it. I know apple seeding tips love pepper, but this food is not meant only for apple seeding tips. Or those eating it does like a lot of pepper. So I added a green, a garlic and grind garlic and ginger. And I'm going to add a rice. So that's okay. I'm going to allow it to come to a boil. Let's taste. Everything is fine. Mm. It already tastes that milky coconut. Oh gosh, I can't wait. So we're going to allow it to come to a boil and dry. I think the water is just enough. Yeah, so medium heat and let it boil to get dry. Hey guys, so wow. Oh my god. You can see our rice, okay? Oh my god! Let me have a taste. Mm. Just really. already and tested. So we're going to add our vegetables, that's carrots and green beans, and mix everything. Remember, I said. When I was actually making poulet de jeu, the Cameroonian poulet de jeu, right? I'm gonna leave the video in the description box. I said I love my carrots and green beans when it's all crunchy, so I don't cook my carrot and green beans. So you can see a Cameroonian coconut rice. Mm. My God, I love this dish because it's complete no oil you can see that oily texture in a rice it's the oil from the coconut milk everything 
it's okay you have your veggies you have protein you have starch that's carbohydrate you have the oh coconut is very nutritive as well so you can imagine it's a complete meal a complete one pot meal guys so look at that. hi coconut rice and the perfume it's something else it's something else i'm going to turn off as heat immediately it's something else so guys do want to give this a try do want to give this a try it's so yummy it's so yummy do want to give it a try guys do want to give it a try so i'm gonna go directly serve myself a plate i can't let this go i'm gonna serve a plate so guys can see that so guys if you've never subscribed to my channel do want to subscribe leave your comments like and share and I'll see you in my next video right now I have to have a delicacy like this okay so guys you can see a beautiful Cameroonian coconut rice very beautiful so please do not forget to subscribe if you want delicacies like this in episode in tips kitchen and like leave your comments on the comment section share the video and i'll see you in my in my next video as of now i'm out